Yo, what is up, guys? Before I actually show you the character split effect in Adobe After Effects, I just want to say that we're super close to 60,000 subscribers at the time of recording this video. Make sure to drop us up. It is 100% free for you guys to do. Hope you guys do enjoy. The presets and the timestamps will be in the description if you want to skip ahead to a specific part in the video. I hope you guys do enjoy, and I'll see you on my PC. All right, guys. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this character split effect. So I'm actually going to be using a Joji clip. This kind of works on any clip that you want, though, where a character is kind of flying in the air. Or even if they're doing like a Mongo classic, it could look super clean, 100% up to you guys. But uh, all we got to do is just we're going to import a couple assets. For me, I'm just going to import that Joji clip that I'm going to be using. And then I'm also going to be importing a random song. So let's just do 637 God when she wants it. Just drag it in just like this. And then we're going to kind of just find the beat that we want to use. So just that, this is our main beat right here. And we're going to kind of trim off the excess. Perfect. So absolute banger of a song, by the way. I recommend you guys using it. We're just going to find the part of the clip we want to use. So I'm just going to trim it down here, trim it down after the kill. And Joji goes crazy on this clip, I'm not going to lie. He does like this weird exotic shotgun clip where he goes between like two different uh two different shots on it he goes boom boom and then hits the kid which is like crazy but uh for this what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna rotoscope it and then we're gonna add twixter so if you guys don't know how you can actually add rotoscoping is we're just going to find the part where we're gonna start rotoscoping and i'm honestly gonna start rotoscoping right here so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer just like this by pressing Control D. We're going to cut it down by pressing Control Shift D. And then obviously we only need this portion right here. And this is about 20 to 30 frames. So it's, it's not going to be anything too crazy. We're going to press this uh, little button right here. We're going to bring down this menu right here. And we're going to go into the actual clip right here by double clicking. And right here you can see this is the rotoscope brush. What you can do is you can kind of press control and drag your mouse left to right to adjust the size. For me, I'm going to work with something like this. And you can obviously zoom in. I recommend doing this in full resolution just so you can do the most. And then what you're going to do is you're going to highlight different parts of the character you want to use. So for me, I'm going to do this. And then obviously, if there is part you don't want to use, you're just going to press alt. And then you're going to do it, which deletes things. And then you can just do these individual layers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go frame by frame and I'm going to select each thing. And the cool thing about this, unlike masking, is it automatically adapts the, the uh, character to the next frame based on kind of the, the information that you provided on previous ones. So what you're gonna do is just go frame by frame and do the rotoscoping for each one. And then obviously, if it is a bit messed up, you're gonna have to fix it for each frame. But uh, yeah, do that for each frame. I'm gonna quickly time-lapse me doing it and um, i'll see you guys after i've done that so we can actually start the kind of character split effect all right so we're done rotoscoping now obviously you can't tell the difference because we haven't changed the position or anything but we're actually going to add twixter to these so just select both of these apply animation presets and we're just going to go to the velocity preset that we're going to be using so for me i'm going to just be using my main velocity it's nothing crazy it's just like a slow down velocity just like this i'll have that in the description and we're just going to actually line up the second last keyframe with the kill so it should just be something like this there's a nice little slow down and then kind of skips a bit but it doesn't really matter too much then we're just going to duplicate this layer twice just like this that way we have two of them and then on the bottom one it doesn't really matter which one it could be the second or the third just make sure you don't add any preset to the top one we're going to add either the left or right character split transform so for me i'm just going to line up this with the last frame right here we can see that slides out just like this and then we're going to go to this one right here and that one i believe was the left so we're gonna add the right side transform here and just like that we can see it does the nice little just like that and uh it's it's nothing crazy obviously because we kind of rushed it obviously my rotoscope would be a lot better but just like that you can literally see 
it, it does the character split just like that and then obviously you can mess around with the keyframes and shift them to either side but it doesn't really matter too much how fast the effect is it just matters about the execution of the clip etc but we're just going to actually quickly add an impact i won't have this in the description i'll only have the presets for the split but make sure to actually check out my five dollar edit pack it is definitely worth it and it has the impact preset that i'm actually showing right now so we're just going to select all the keyframes we're going to line it up just like that and that is actually going to be our impact just like that super super clean and we're actually going to mute the audio just because the clip is kind of loud in terms of those little uh, exotic shotgun clips. But just like that, we can just go here quickly, go to the sound effects folder and add kind of a nice pump headshot sound effect if we want. Just like that. Change this to seven. Oh, I have these on... Uh, volume that's why perfect but uh, obviously it would look a lot cleaner if it was kind of more spaced out but i hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial on how to actually do this effect it's super clean when executed properly and uh, yeah i hope you guys learned something new by watching this and following along and yeah my five dollar edit pack in the description like comment subscribe hope you guys did enjoy i possibly will be making one of these on da vinci it will take a bit more patience because there isn't rotoscoping which is kind of rotoscoping a moving thing i won't it'll be kind of hard to mask it on da vinci but let me know if we maybe get a thousand likes on this video i will do a tutorial in da vinci resolve so uh, yeah go drop a like hope you guys enjoy like i'm subscribed i'll see you guys in the video from the past and the nonsense Tired of toxic ends, not an option Made it out from the mud, I'ma find this Taking off hella fast, I'm a Martian Yeah, pressure on my body, I don't sink Yeah, never had a copy for the clicks, nah, nah Ayy, money always got me feeling big